pretty sure he meant uh ho 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 merry christmas that, i'm pretty sure that's what satan claus meant how is everyone it is christmas eve eve ish so <laughs> so let me know how's the audio sound because i really can't tell I, I don't know why i even bothered putting these headphones on so this is this is this is going to be very annoying very quickly there we go everyday carry very good Doing good. I, I, how is everyone? And how is the audio? That is the big question. How is the audio? Because I, I, I did a couple tests, and I realized that it really doesn't matter how it sounds on these headphones. That the microphone seems to pick up everything pretty much the same. So. I don't know why the, the fat man talks about prostitutes. I've tried to tell him. I've tried to tell Demon Me that uh, that it's it's that ho 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 is it's he's laughing, but he keeps thinking it has something to do with hookers or prostitutes. I don't know what his problem is. So it's Christmas Eve squared. There you go. I, it, is it squared? Yeah, that's, I guess. I guess that works. So Merry Christmas, everyone. Can't stay. So for the evening, for this evening, all cowbells, including your freebie out of the kindness of my heart, will be done in auto-tune. That's my present to you guys. All cowbells this evening, all donations get, get auto-tune. Auto-tune cowbell. So I got to make sure I've got everything plugged in. I kind of ran out of time. I've done this. I, I know exactly what time this goes live. It goes live, uh, in case you guys wondered, I couldn't find the correct hat. We have a couple of these. I couldn't find the camouflage one that actually fits. I found the great big one that usually sits on top of uh, this thing that we have for Christmas that we haven't used in years. This came with like a thing that goes outside. Uh, I, have, I have a real tree cam camouflage Santa Claus hat that absolutely fits my head this is not meant for me it's meant for a little light up statue and it's got a, a little clip that it goes on i couldn't find it so the fact is it's way too big that's why i'm still wearing my regular hat so oh yeah cowbell gets uh auto-tune <laughs> cowbell says bubbles wow that's really weird I would like to hear a lot more auto-tune cowbells. Uh, this is your first live. Well, in, in that case, allow me to welcome you. What do you call a bell that doesn't ring? The Liberty Bell. Uh, actually, they do ring the Liberty Bell. Like once uh, they rang it on the bicentennial. Uh, they've rung it. They've rang it several times. The only reason they don't ring it is it has a crack. But actually, it does ring. The Liberty Bell has been rung. And it has, it, I remember it being run. They rang it on the bicentennial. Uh, I remember that because I was a child and it was a big event. So I believe you are misspoken, sir. Let's go ahead and uh, favorite bottle opener ever. 
I have to clean all those up. I'm not going to lie. You don't want to walk around barefoot in my garage. Because <laughs> I've done that the last couple times that I got beer for the live feeds. And uh, not going to lie, I didn't pick them all up. So, what's everybody doing? There's 17 people here. We got to hear. You must have just joined and rewound. Uh, because we're eight minutes in and we've already... Uh, I don't know many people that ring a bell for daily use. I mean, except uh, Bubbles' his girlfriend. This is a uh, this is a pendant off of her necklace. Uh, she left it at my house. <laughs> Oops, I forgot. It's supposed to sound like this. Happy Christmas, Merry New Year. It's Merry Syphilis and a Clappy New Year. I don't think I don't think that's it. I don't think that's it. I don't think it's I would never say that, but I absolutely am going to screenshot that so that if anything ever comes up, I have that little tidbit of information. I mean, Keen Customs Tools. Holy crap. Hang on a second. I'll give you some bell. Uh, <laughs> Merry Christmas, you old fucker. Uh, still better looking than you. I've seen you in person. You could scare dark out of a fucking closet. <laughs> Keen Custom Tools gets... Um... Jesus, that's loud. That the... the, the... Ice cream or the ice cycle on that refrigerator loud as hell. I think I think something's wrong with it. So, Keen Custom Tools, you know that when you do this, that little bubble that's under there, you can type something in. Uh, so let's get this started. That's just fucking annoying. <laughs> uh, I have I have no idea what University of Chicago Rockefeller Chapel has a clarion that's played at noon and five p.m. every day for one hour both times. A full a tower full of bells is a good way to get it work out. Yeah, I, I could I could see that. In Japan, I don't know if you guys know this. Uh, they run the air raids. I don't. They run the air raid siren twice a day. They run it at lunchtime. And they run it at knockoff. And like, it's, I don't know why, but like, that it's the first time you hear it. I was like, is that a fucking air raid siren? And they're like, yeah, but it's, it's just, it's, uh, it's just telling everybody it's lunchtime. So keen. Custom tools, thank you very much for the 20 bones. I did not, I was not overlooking that, but you got Bell. I wanted to show you guys something. I mean, I know you already saw it. Uh, uh, 2A Dave sent me this as a Christmas gift. It's a mini tough light. And I have used the shit out of this. And I probably should have done a first day in pockets video. But it's gonna get a full review. I love this thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna compare it in the video to the uh, the full sized one. Oh, hey, custom EDC knives. There, there we go. Back to normal. She's a five chime air horn. I had, okay, guys, I had, I had a three chime. I had a three horn air horn in my, uh, in my, in my car in Japan. It had a tank and everything. Like you had to pressurize the tank and, uh, it sounded like a fucking train. And my buddy Shin one time, Japanese dude, we were at an intersection and there was this poor old lady pushing her bike across the intersection. The light had changed and he's like, hurry up, hurry up. And he was, he was, he was a dick. And he's like, uh, he's like, he's like, Mo nande osoya got a bacha, and he hit the switch for the air horn, and that poor old lady went straight upright and fell over, bicycle and all. And I was like, 
fuck me. He goes, oh, Shinda? He's like, did I kill her? And I was like, I, fuck, I fucking hope not. I hope not. I was terrified. I thought he had killed someone. And then when she started to get up, he just started laughing like a maniac. I was like, you are an asshole. That's why we're friends. 15 people here. I don't know how many likes. I would like to let you guys remind you guys that dropping a like is the best thing you can do for any video on any channel, not just mine. I would like to see more people that watch my videos drop likes. Uh, I would like you to just, as soon as you click on a video, you hit that like button. That would be great. So, um, what did everybody, what's everybody hoping to get for Christmas? What is everybody wanting for Christmas? I mean, it's not, <laughs> I didn't do it. He flipped the switch for the air horn and just scared the, but Jesus out of that poor old lady. This thing's incredibly warm. Like my head is sweating. You smack the like button three times. That's that's fine. I don't care if you smack it, you kick it, you push it, you lick it, you put your pecker on it. I don't care what you do as long as you do something with it. Even if it's a dislike. I keep trying to make sure that everybody knows. I'm like, hey, there's I have I have somebody that dislikes every video I do. Like every one. And I'm like, hey, man, you know you're not hurting my channel by doing a dislike. It's not like you go, oh, this somebody dislikes every one of these videos. We got to downgrade them. I mean, it's not like my videos got a lot of publicity anyway, but that interaction, that downvote works every bit as good for my channel as an upvote. Some of the best, some of the videos that do the best have the most downvotes. And it's because I'll tell you a secret. If you find somebody you like that does something you like, you'll tell a friend. If you find somebody you don't like, you'll tell every motherfucker you know about that. I got that fucking dickhead. You will tell fucking everyone about what a horrible person that person is. If you like someone, you'll tell your friends. If you don't like someone, you will tell everyone you fucking meet. I need to get more people to dislike me. <laughs> Jim Skelton's got it down. So be a dick. My nose itches. <laughs> I ended up picking up a Rosselli UH, I'm sorry, UHC hunting knife. I don't even have family here. This just, that's it. That's why I'm saying like tomorrow, I think, I think tomorrow, I had content that I was going to put up tomorrow, but I don't want to do that. I think I'm going to do a members only live feed tomorrow, just like this. And it'll be our Christmas Eve content. And then Sunday, there won't be anything. Uh, you guys are always welcome to watch, even if you're not a paying member. You just can't drop a comment unless unless you use a super chat. New boots. That's a that's a man after my own heart right there. I got new boots a couple years ago for Christmas. I got um, I haven't worn them all that much. Uh, I got a pair of oh Timberland Pro contractor grade boots with the the hard toe cap just tell everybody you hate me tell everybody i'm a dick and they'll come for, like have, no one wants to watch a channel I'm like nobody everybody's gonna go, oh that guy's channel's good he's he's a nice guy feel like yeah maybe i'll watch it you're like dude this guy's a fucking prick like you should hear some of the shit they said that he says and then they come to my channel and then they find out i'm not any way you look at it I'm going to be home all day. Oh, here, wait, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Let me get you, uh, let me see here. We'll do it in B major, B major. <laughs> hey, Bubbles. This is what you hear when you take off your pants around a girl. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm sure they laugh much harder. I should just do the entire, 
I should just do the entire live feed like this. I don't know even what it sounds like, to tell you the truth. Really, I, I don't know. That one, that one doesn't come. I can hear the bells, but like my voice, I can't hear what my voice sounds like on that. <laughs> does, it sound, does it sound like I'm going through puberty again and my voice cracks like the bells sound? So I'll be an Xmas Day babe. She'll be an Xmas Day something, but I wouldn't go out and throw babe out there. You were a dick when you were drunk back in the day on lives. Sometimes. Yeah, there was times. There was times. And there's still times. Suck on helium and then start talking. Hang on a second. I can do that. It would sound like this. So I, I don't I don't I don't need the actual helium. I got a machine for that. You guys like people are like, oh, you should get a uh, you should get a, a soundboard. And I'm like, I got a soundboard. I just have a miniature soundboard. I don't need like the great big one. Like my buddy was like, oh, you should get this. It's got sliders and shit on it. And I was like, I don't need anything that fucking complicated. Uh, what we got here? Oh, I talked with, I talked with Polly. Uh, we're probably going to wind up doing a live feed on his channel before too long over at Purple Heart Barbecue. Is somebody, is, is bees, is bees still live? Can somebody check and see? Because if he is, go in and drop a comment to tell everybody to come over here. I know that he went live earlier. So if he's still live, if one of you guys can stop in and remind everyone that I'm live as well. Bees is why I went, I moved it this direction. What does CPM stand for there, uh, CPM? C.P.M. Dot. C.P.M. Dot dot. What's it stand for? I'm curious. Inquiring minds need to know. I want to know. I want to know. You know what I really wanted for Christmas? And my buddy couldn't get them for me. Uh, I have the, the brown polypropylene long johns that, that I wear. You guys have seen the top. Uh, I have those when it's cold. It's not cold out here. It's It's literally 64 degrees out here. Bees is still alive. That's what's going on. Okay. Well, I might run long tonight. I, I got a lot of coffee in me. I don't know what's going on. So if if a couple of you guys want to stop by and let bees know uh, to stop by, I'd love bees to stop by if he wants. Uh, tell him I'll send it. Tell him to DM me and I'll grab my phone and send him a fucking link. We could stop in. Uh, oh, oh, man. I had. Uh, I had McDonald's yesterday. You guys want to hear a mistake that was made? I went to McDonald's after I smoked. After I got into the giggle grass, which is the only way to do it. Because you're always going to like, if you go get the food first and then you get into the giggle grass, you're always going to wind up going back or going somewhere else. And so, well, I wound up going somewhere else because I wanted ice cream. Uh, so I went, to, I went to McDonald's in the throes of the munchies, and I proceeded to have a filet of fish, a large order of fries, a large Coke, two quarter pounders of cheese. I did not intend to eat all of it. The intent was to put some of it in the refrigerator to warm up the next day. And when I got done, I realized that I had eaten all of it. And I was like, wow, I imagine I'm going to feel pretty bad later. And I was right. But I still went up to the little grocery store up on the corner, a little uh, Mexican market up there. And I got a box of ice cream sandwiches and a box of fudge sickles because I haven't had any of those for a while. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Minus two degrees in India. It's sixty-four degrees out here in the studio. I'm actually, I'm actually a little warm. Uh, even just only with the sweatshirt. The other day when you guys were out, it was way colder. It was, it was way colder out here. Like I had long johns and a sweatshirt on. So, come on, bubbles. I was trying to be funny. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I, I'm still, I still want to know what CPM stands for. I have yet to. Uh, 
be informed as to what CPM is. Well, I had a thought. And it, like I said, if you guys want to run over, I don't know if any of you guys did it. Uh, tell 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 everybody over at Bees Blades that I'm live tonight. Uh, people forget. You're like, ah, I, I didn't I didn't know. And I'm like, I go live every 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 fucking three days, three days a week. Michael Shock. Kara Shakirian? Shakirian? All I can think all I can think of is uh Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, the Shaka Shankara Stones. Your name is Mike Sh Michael. Your new name is Michael Shankara. Shankara Stones. So well, I don't know what you're talking about. Um Daniel, I have carried it a couple days. You got to figure, like, I, I have <laughs> one, two, three, four, five knives that are currently in a rotation that I'm trying to get carried. This one's going to be quick because I'm not going to lie. It's this very rarely do, not, do knives that are in for review uh, make it all the way upstairs. Uh, usually they come out of my pocket, go up there, and then whatever my knives are that I typically carry, go back in my pocket. But the last three nights, this has just ridden in my pocket all the way upstairs. I need to get, I need to do the review of this so that I get other stuff in pocket. I forced myself to carry. What did I carry today? Oh, I can't tell you. You guys haven't seen the video yet. So, and you get. Something's wrong with that bail. If, if you if you modify a classic Dodge Charger RT 426 Hemi to be a great off-road vehicle, paint it orange and do the General Lee livery. I don't I don't know how I feel about I don't know how I feel about doing that to a oops, sorry. To a very, very, very attractive vehicle. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, what was that? I don't know what you guys got a large and cozy. I like it. I might take that back and give. Oh, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna sh um I'm gonna show you guys something, and I'm gonna offer up to a couple people. Long story short, I had to call USPS today, get my eyeglasses re-delivered today. I'm stoked to have eyeglasses after a year. What's the knife you lost or broke that you missed the most and did I replace it? I've tried. So I, I've talked about it. I had a small, Nathan, I had a small knife that was a gift from my father. This sucks. It was a birthday present. And uh, I put the knife in my pocket and I had a hole in my pocket. We didn't realize, I didn't realize it. And we got ready to, we were fishing and I had, uh, I had this, this small, I had this, it wasn't small, it was a fairly good size knife. It was called, uh, it was a Simmons Ole Urn folder. It was a lockback and it was green plastic handles. Nice. It had such a good edge on it. I'd had it for a couple of years, but it was a gift from my father. It was a birthday present. And it was like, typically presents were like guns and knives and things like that in my family. And it fell through the hole in my pocket. My father and I walked up and down the river and we just could not find it. Let me see. Let me, let me see if I can find it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, oh, Simmons old urn knife. Um, this is the exact knife right here. This is the exact. This is the exact knife. Let me uh, let me pull it up and show you. But at any rate, I've never been able to replace it. They don't make it anymore. It it's just it's that I loved this knife and it was something. It was something that I used 
a lot uh, because I had kind of outgrown this knife, which my father, this was the first knife my father ever gave me. And I had outgrown it. It was, it was too, let me see here. Chrome tab. It was this one. Uh, you can see it here. Let me see. Yeah, it came, it, it, this is exactly what it looked like. Came in a, uh, yep. It was such a good little knife. I wish I could find a better picture of it. Uh, but that's, that's exactly the knife I had. And, uh, I lost it. And, uh, I lost it and I wish I could get it back. And I have never found one that's available. I've never seen one. I had never seen one that I could get. And I just literally, I, I would, there's not much I wouldn't give to have this knife back. And I don't mean just any random one. I mean the one my father gave me. Uh, there's not much I wouldn't give to have all the gifts that my father gave me back in my possession. But unfortunately, that doesn't happen. Hang on a second, guys. I gotta mute this for just a second. I gotta fix I gotta fix something here. There we go. I was just can you I am unmuted, right? You guys can't hear me. Had a horrible hum. I don't know if you guys could hear it, but I absolutely could hear the hum. So I had to adjust the cord on that. I can't think. I've only ever I can only think of. Three knives that I've lost. The one we just looked at. Uh, a little buck knife that I didn't lose. Somebody stole it. It was a single bladed buck knife and it. Hang on. I got to get a different microphone. There's something wrong with this one. I have to re I have to screw the housing over top of it back down every once in a while. Uh, yeah, I lost that buck knife. I lost that one that my father gave me. The one, the little buck knife I bought and it had a, it had a liner lock on it. Uh, lost that one. Only other one I had was a little itty bitty Gerber with plastic scales and no, no pocket clip. Uh, it was a little Gerber. And it was just, it was like this big. And uh, I tossed it to the pier to my buddy Bernal. Uh, he was doing, he was tying off the ship. And uh, he went to throw it back to me and it hit, I was on the catwalk of the ship. Uh, and it hit the overhead. And before I could catch it, it fell in the water. And he was like, and I was like, thanks, Bernal. He's like, sorry. I was like, thanks, Bernie, dickhead. He worked at the, at the org. Who let the old... Aaron Spock. God damn it. Hang on. I may have to, I may have to, I may have to do a, uh, an adjustment here. I, 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 give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, if that if that buzz and hum comes back, I'm just gonna pause it long enough to just disconnect everything, and I'll put the microphone on this and change that up. Was the Gerber a little assisted open? No, it was just a little nail nick one. It had scales that came down thin, and then they got thick, had a, like a ridge, and they thickened up, and had a little la lanyard hole in it, and it was a, it was not much bigger than this. Yeah, well, you're gonna be able to hear the buzz. That's the problem. When the buzz starts. It gets louder and louder, and then you guys can hear it. I can hear it because I'm connected directly to it. But, I mean, it, it'll it sound like this. Oh, well, I think I got rid of it completely. There's something wrong, and the housing's not grounded, and it builds up a charge, and you have to discharge it by cranking it down until the housing touches the little lip inside. Louie, hello there. Hello to you, too. Like I said, uh, I've only ever lost three knives. Um, I gave some knives away. I had a Gerber. I've had a Ger I had a Gerber Gator that I gave away. Wish I'd never done that. I had a uh, 
had a Gerber. What's what was the Gerber? The um, it was that fixed. It was that dagger we were looking about. The, the um. Jesus, I can't remember. I can't remember it. Uh, it was a Fairbane. There was that Gerber Fairbane dagger, but it was the folding one. Use a wire with clips on the. No, it's you can't get to it. It's inside. It's the housing thing is inside, and if you clip, if you touch anything to it, it gets even worse. Lost a couple of knives in a high school when I was in the police. I never lost anything. I never lost any good knives, really, to tell you the truth. I found I found something that I, I forgot I even had. I had uh, A.G. Russell Sting. The CRKT. Well, I forgot I even had this thing. Constantine. Just woke up. What's up this evening? Nothing. It's Christmas Eve Eve. I lost a ton of throwing stars. Throwing stars, yeah, I don't think. What are your thoughts on Gavco custom knives? I have one if you'd like to review. I did, uh, I had, oh, uh, I got, I just, I trimmed my nose hair. And they're, they're short, and now they're poking in there. Um, yeah, I had the Applegate Fairbane. That's the, that's the group I'm talking about I gave away. Um. I had his ninth folding knife. I had the ninth knife that uh, he ever did. I had it in for, uh, uh, I had it in from uh, Elliot for review before Elliot sold it. Uh, they're really good. Like Mike's knives are amazing. Uh, so, but the thing is, like custom knives. In all honesty, I've kind of, I kind of shy away from doing the custom knives. No one wants to see a custom knife because no one wants, no one's going to pay the cost for a custom knife. Like I have. All those custom knives up there that are really, really expensive. But I haven't done reviews. Like I have one more, the Marsh. I've been really like spattering them out because no one wants, no one watches those videos. I, I love doing them. I just like Jim does. Jim is like, well, why you only do this stuff? It's like because that's what people want to see, Jim. People don't want to see a three thousand dollar knife that they know they'll never own. They want to see a knife that they can go to the corner store and order. Um. I wanted one. How are A.G. Russell knives? They're okay, but like, okay. His designs are good. I've never gotten to see an actual A.G. Russell. They're all just designs that are done by different people, uh, different companies. So, I, uh, uh, I've never seen an actual A.G. Russell knife. I've only ever seen a production knife. I'd rather watch custom ones. Yeah, but that's great. It'd be just me and you watching it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can't, like, to do this as a business, which I'm doing, I can't, I, I'll do some, but I can't do a knife about, a, a video about a $4,000 knife. I can, it's just no one's going to fucking watch it. The videos that I've done that have done the best were all sub $100 knives. And that's kind of, that's kind of where I'm at right now with things that I would purchase. Yeah. Have I got an entire case full of five, six, seven hundred dollar knives? Yeah, I do. This thing is great. It's magical, too. You see? You see through it. Just you and me, Mike. That sounds dreamy. No, no five door estate. That sounds weird. <laughs> so yeah but <laughs> yeah there you go i don't know how many i don't know how many likes there are we're at 41 views uh, 41 people watching it i'll watch just about any knife video but pretty much only budget knives make it to my wish list i there are there's some really good ones that are out right now. Like I said, in my pocket right now. What's up there? What I leave up on the counter? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Um, this is what's in my pocket right now. This was a gift from my buddy Tino. I really, really like this knife. 
I, I it you guys are gonna get to see. I did a top three knives of the year. Uh, but this was on my top knives of the year, the top five. Uh, I had to pick three, first, second, and third place. So you'll get to see that video next week. If I'd had this knife, I don't know how it's going to pan out. If I'd had this petrified fish, Havrog, this may have made the list. I really, really like this. I really like this knife, especially it's got micarta thumb studs. And you can reverse flick off of them. Right there, I'm like, I can do what now? Oh, I love reverse flick. And I like I like the way that looks. And I'm like, okay, that's really good. Plus, the action on it is really, really good. So, I don't know the price or anything, so don't ask. I'll tell you what I had in pocket earlier today. This finds its way into my pocket a lot. The Laconico is serious. It's just such a good knife. I had I had to go run a few errands. Uh, so I thought I got everything yesterday and wound up having to go today. I was like, God damn it. I went grocery shop. I didn't do, I, I got news for you guys. I took an afternoon. I took an afternoon off. I got up in the morning. I edited a little bit at 10. I went to the grocery store and then I went to the hardware store. I needed a couple of things. Oh, no, no. I went to the grocery store and came back. I'd already went to the hard. I went to the hardware store over the weekend. So at any rate, so I came home with groceries and I put the new guts in the upstairs toilet in the master bathroom, turned the water back on, tested it for leaks and everything. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to bed. And I took a nap and I didn't do anything. Realistically, the views you get on mostly are people will or are able to buy nothing worse than a video <laughs> nothing worse than a video on something you can't get are some people's yeah i i don't i don't like uh i don't like when you can't get something i don't like doing a review of something like i i know that there's knives that i'm gonna do videos about that you just can't get uh but usually i try to keep those in the uh I try to keep those in like the five fast kind of videos. Like I did five, I did one today that was five unique autos uh, because they were all pretty unique. You've run that knife for like two weeks. Oh, this hasn't been in my, this hasn't been in my pocket for a while. But like I said, every bell, we'll do a C major. Sorry, I was trying to get back. I didn't want to have bubbles is a baller. Yeah. I like it and I want it. I love this knife. You can get these. Um, I'll tell you what. I will send you a uh I will send you uh, a link to it. They're not that expensive. Uh I'll send you a uh affiliate link. I'll send it, I'll DM it to you. And all you have to do is just click on it. This is one of those things, all you have to do is click it. Oh my god, we did it. <laughs> you guys get out of this. So after Wednesday's live feed, a handful of folks like Aiden said, he's like, hey, can we do like members only stuff? And I was like, OK, do you guys want to watch Cutlery Corner Network? And we'll just bag on everything and just bullshit. And it, everybody was like, yeah, cool. And I was like. Uh, I was like, OK, I'll set it up. And Bubbles was like, OK, I'm in the chat room. I was like, no, no, we're doing it. We're actually watching it and sharing our cameras and stuff. And he goes, well, how to do that? I literally had to walk him through it. I was like, good God, man. What kind of Luddite are you? For you guys that don't know, a Luddite is somebody that 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 does not like technology at all. So Pirate Tobin. Pirate Tobin says, I sub to a knife reviewer that I rarely watch anymore because all the knives are super expensive or the same Kaisers that everyone else is reviewing anyway. I, I review a lot of the same Kaisers that everyone's doing, but that's mainly because that's what I get in. Uh, we could do, I could do a high-end knives in my collection video. Like we could do, I could do a video of, uh, we just do a quick walkthrough or look at like every one of my knives that are over $500 or $400. Uh, 
I I like I when I before I started doing two videos a day, three days a week, I uh uh yeah hang on a second well let me do that i'll get you an affiliate link uh but before it, you guys will have to forgive me i'm gonna have to step out of the chat i mean i'll still be here but um i uh what was i getting ready to say oh i used to watch like multiple reviews of the same knife because different reviewers are going to give you different perspectives like nick shabazz is going to show you something different than jim skelton is even if they're reviewing the same knife and the same so it's uh It's a it's a thing. I'm trying I'm trying to get out to go to the other. I have to go into a different browser. Give me a second. Uh, I got to go into my other browser. I will put up. Let me see if I can find it. Damn it! Why does it keep doing this? Uh, artisan. Ernest and Serious Knife. Let me see if it's on here. Yes. Now, it's going to be different because this was, this is a different version, but this is the, uh, this is the, the more affordable version of this. It's the all black one. So, uh, come on. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Here we go. You guys ready? Here is the here is a purchase link. This is an affiliate link for this knife. It's the all black version though. There it is. That's the all black version. That's what's available on Amazon right now. I got to give you bell. I got to give you bell. I didn't I didn't mean to skip you. <laughs> What were we? Oh, sorry. Oops. What were, what were you talking about? Just posting. If, no, Paul Mills was talking about. Okay, I must have missed something here. Bubbles is a baller. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He dumped a 50 the other day. Like, he dumped 50. I was like, holy sh 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 shnikes. Uh, there you go. There's your affiliate link. It is right here. Right here. That's the affiliate link. So you can find it. It's right under Colton's. It's under Colton Automotive Tips and between custom EDC knives. That's where that that's where that's located. That's very true. It's good as fifty dollars today. Is their money is likely spent better ways? Um, that's the serious you have. Which this one or the all black one? This one I like. This one. I think the all black one would be cool. This one is an S thirty five VN. The reason I'd like the uh, the all black one is I actually like ARRPM nine a little bit better than I like S thirty five VN. S thirty five VN on this is really really good, and it's a very good looking knife. But I think I would have I think I would have preferred to have the ARRPM nine, even though it's a more budget steel. I just I like the edge it takes. I like the way it holds the edge, and I like the maintainability of it. Uh, like I said, I'm not I'm not a guy that has to have a five or six hundred dollar knife, even though I have my day to day carry. Well, right now it's out of commission because it's missing a screw. My day to day carry is a thousand dollar Norseman, but you know what has replaced it lately has been a couple of really good sub two hundred dollar knives. So. Yeah, there you go. That's. Uh, so I did pull up a page. Do you guys want to see what's available? Do you guys want to see what's available at uh, at Karate Mart? They have got a Christmas sale for stocking stuffers. I know that it's only two days, and there's very few things you're going to be able to get, except I do believe on Amazon. The sea snake can still get to you before Christmas. I think that they're I think they're still doing like next day. Uh,
Gonna roll out, gotta clear out some notifications. Okay, cool. Take it easy, brother. Do you guys want to see what's available at Karate Mart? Oh, I forgot to tell you what my favorite knife is right now. Anyway, it's the Herman Dragonfly. I've never gotten to see any of the Herman knives. Mainly because people are like, oh, I'll send you one, but I got to have it back in like, like a week. And I'm like, well, then you may, then you're not sending it to me because I'm telling you right now, because this, there's a lot of knives that you guys don't ever get to see because people reach out to me and like, oh yeah, I'll send that knife, but I need it back in like three days. And I'm like, don't even send it because all that's going to happen is you're going to send it to me. And you're going to remind me to send it back. And I'm not even going to open the fucking box. I literally have got one, two, three, four, five, five boxes with multiple knives in it in for review. I've got probably counting the stuff Jared sent probably 70, 80 knives in right now for review. Some of them won't get a review. I'm going to tell you right now, there is a process. I get a knife. I open it up. I will film. Like I'll put it in my pocket. And if like five, that's why they use like, I'll bring up karate Mark then. Yeah. I'll do that for you there, Pirate Tobin. Uh, I will honestly get a knife in. I'll do an unboxing, and I will I will then mess with those knives, and I'll put it in my pocket. And then I don't just, like, the second it goes in my pocket, like, oh, I took it back out of the box. And then put it in, in my pocket, and you're just seeing it. Like, I'm just putting it in my pocket. That doesn't make any sense. I put a knife in my pocket. I carry it for anywhere between... It depends on how I feel about it. Like, if it really impresses me, like, a couple hours, I might do the video. But typically, about three or four hours after I put it in my pocket, I will, I'll start filming the first damn pocket. If I don't feel like I like that knife, it goes right back in the pouch, and it goes in a bag inside the box of knives that Jared or whoever sent me. And then it gets, it definitely gets just put off the side and doesn't get anything done. I actually would say that that is not, the version I would want. I like the ARRPM9 better than S35VN. I honestly do. It, Artisan's S35VN is pretty good. It's it's on par with some of the other really good heat treats. I just like the fact that ARRPM9 strops up so easily. I really just, I do like the ARRPM9. I wouldn't want to change. That's why I told them. They were like, oh, we want to do a special exclusive uh, version of it. I'm like, fucking why? How much is it going to be? They're like 160 retail or like a 120 table price. And I'm like, no, it was designed to be a sub $100 knife. It was designed to be a sub $50 knife. That's what I thought when I would, it, that's not how it was designed. The customs aren't, the customs are very expensive. But the, 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 the fucking, <laughs> Uh, going from a, like a forty dollar knife to a hundred and something dollar knife. This thing's pissing me off. You guys can't hear that buzz. Fucking pissing me off. I'm getting a new microphone. That's all there is to it. If I get Christmas money, if I get anything like that, I can use to afford anything. I will absolutely give you some bell. So, fuck. There we go. I, I don't know if it's the weather or what. It's really foggy, but it just keeps starting to buzz. Uh, how's Civivi's S35VN? Civivi, we react all their S35VNs really, really good. I think we knife company has absolutely the best S35VN, but Artisan is is really up there. Uh, it's it's definitely definitely up there with it. It's not as good. I think we knife company has the best S35VN of like the offshore. Um, and then I think that. Uh, 
I think that React has the best M390. Did you start a YouTube channel? How, do you even know how to edit stuff and put stuff up? Like, I had to instruct you on how to follow a link. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I mean, I know you, I know you have a channel. It's right here because you interact on here. Uh, you got one sub. Polish Custom Knives. That's where you can get a Dragonfly, Sting, or another model you may like better, but all Herman knives are good. They also carry other brands like... Oh, okay. I'd have to look. I'd have to look. I got bros. <laughs> okay. We're going to... Cold Steel, I, uh, I was going to say, Cold Steel does have some really good S35VN. Cold Steel was one of the only companies that did XHP at a heat treat that I liked. A lot of other companies, and people would get so mad. I'm like, eh, XHP, uh, it uh, takes a shit edge, in it, but it holds it forever. I just didn't like the edge it took. <laughs> Don't question me, you ginger bearded fucker. I'm going to catch up. <clears throat> Listen here. <laughs> Don't try to compete with me. I'll eat your soul. And maybe your testicles. It's possible. I like lamb balls. I do like lamb balls. They're fucking delightful. Uh, so, yeah, let's pull up... <laughs> Jesus, we're an hour in. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hold myself to a to a two to a two hour uh, time frame. We're going to look at what is available at stocking stuffers over here at Karate Mart. So Karate Mart is a website that I found by accident. I found their YouTube channel uh, because, well, well, I, I have a lot of bad nightmares and I don't sleep because sleep is, that's where the bad guys, that's where the demons come out. So I just don't sleep. So I was just perusing YouTube one time and I saw a video from Karate Mart and I was like, what is this shit? I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Drop the weapon. Yeah, it does. Now, now that you said it, it does. It reminds me of that. So let's look here. We have <laughs> all kinds of stuff. You have Chinese Kana charm bracelets, pullback ninja racers. But you have a bomb bag. What's a bomb? A ninja diversion. Oh, my. Oh, my. There's a video. I don't I don't know why the audio is not coming across. <laughs> what is this? Uh these are a foil wrap bag with baking soda and an inner bag. Oh, okay. So you pop okay, it's just two bags, one with oil or one with vinegar and one with uh that's weird. Why won't it go back? Uh, what else do we got here? You got karate chop sticky hands. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Oh. If there's no smoke, right? How could you say that? Like, that doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. What are these? Do you guys remember these? This The sticky silly slappers? We all had these when I was a kid. We got them out of the... We got them out of a, a machine. <laughs> okay. We got all of these out of a machine at a place called uh, Buckeye Mart in uh, in Coshocton, Ohio. Like all the kids, that's where everybody was like, where'd you get it? Oh, out of the machine over to Buckeye Mart. And I was like, the chicken one? Do you guys remember the chicken? And it would, and the egg would come out and you pop it. 
That's all it was full of. That's all it that's all it had in it. Uh and we got those. And that place went from Buckeye Mart to Hills. And now it's big lots. And guess what? A fucking machine is still there. Like it never left. It is <laughs> it has been three different stores. It, oh wait, no, it was it was Buckeye Mart, and then it was Murphy Mart, then it was Hills, because I don't know if you know this. Hills, that's where the toys are. I mean, you guys remember that. And then it became a big lots. And that machine is still in the little inner doors. So you had the outer doors and you had the inner doors. And I was like, holy cow. So, but I forgot. If we are going to look at stuff at, um, if we're going to look at stuff at, at Karate Mart, I have to prepare myself. It's giggle grass time. So I got to turn this thing on. You remember Hills? I do too. Do you remember Murphy Mart? Murphy Mart and, and all that stuff. Uh, nah, Ross was never there. We didn't have Ross. Do they keep it stocked? Yeah, it's always stick, stocked with these goofy things. But when I was a kid, when these came out, when you first saw these, they were, they're sticky and they got a hand. They were in, uh, they didn't have handles on them. But they were, that's all that was in that machine. And that's all we went and got. And you slap them. They're like, they're like uh, wacky wall walkers. If you guys remember those. Uh, temporary tattoos. Oh, here you go. Rubber ninjas. Anybody need rubber ninjas for uh, stuff? These are all stocking stuffers. These are all stocking stuffers. Don't buy a Herman from eBay because it will cost you an extra 200. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't plan on it. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, $24.95 deluxe pull-through sharpener. Look at that. Three stage. Don't buy that. Whatever you do, don't buy that. Ninja stress balls. Do you need some ninja stress balls? Uh, you have, like, why? And like, okay. I don't know if you've noticed. It's not Kershockton. It's Kershockton. C-O-S-H-O-C-T-O-N. C-O-S-H-O-C-T-O-N. Well, I mean, it is probably pronounced Kershockton. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's how you pronounce it. But it also, you also, if you're from that area, you know that it's also not Newark. N-E-W-A-R-K. It's Nurk. So, I mean, yeah, you're, you're kind of right. Bubbles needs Patreon to support his support of Emler. I was joking the other day. He dropped it. I was like, man, is it the first of the month already that welfare check came through? But that's because I like Bubbles, so I pick on him a lot. Actually, yes, buy that. It's more work for us sharpeners. Those of us that can sharpen, there's a good chance. Hello, Ohioan. Yeah, it's Ohio. It's not Ohio. It's Ohio. It's spelled like A-H-I-A-H, Ohio. That's how that's the proper pronunciation. There's I know it's spelled with O's. Only Ohio would would spell would pronounce M A M I, you know, Miami. Every everywhere else in the world pronounces it. We call it mommy. The mommy river. If you look at it, that's definitely the uh mm -hmm. well, that's because you're on the dumb side. <laughs> I mean, you know I'm joking. You know I'm joking. There's a good chance that I won't be doing any more sharpening other than the, like, four knives that are here. That if you are one of those owners, I apologize. I'm not able to do any sharpening. Uh, so, yeah, let's get back to here. Let's see. Everything here is ninja stuff. Why is it always going to be scissors, scissor punch? <laughs> These are funny. Like, this is, like, I would actually get stuff like this and just give it to my kid. Like, a whole bag of this shit, because she actually would get a kick out of some of this stuff. She probably would. Hey, I don't have to drive anywhere near Dayton 
or Cincinnati. So that sounds pretty smart to me. That sounds like the smarter side to me. Ornamental Ninja Star set. Uh, you guys remember these? Remember when? <laughs> do you guys remember when you couldn't buy? <laughs> Scissor punch your fart box. <laughs> Oh, my. <laughs> but do you guys remember when you couldn't buy actual Ninja Stars? So these were those little thin, hunched out ones. And they were like, they were supposed to be like pendants and medallions and stuff like that. And they, they you wore them as a necklace. And then you just, everybody took the fucking ring off of it and took it off the necklace and used them as Ninja Stars. You guys remember those? Because they technically weren't Ninja Stars. I have a, I have a thing of Ninja Stars over there. Uh. Let's get back here. Uh, what else have they got? What else have they got for? There's another knife sharpener. Oh, yeah, here we go. The cat defense keychains. Those things are garbage. Oh, a pink. Pink, mind you. Hidden, hidden knife. That is, uh, it's not good. That's a, that's hideous. I actually had one of these. It was really, really sharp till you cut something. It felt really, really sharp. You cut paper and stuff. The first time you cut anything with it, you're like, oh my God, it's, they didn't heat three. They didn't heat th treat this at all. What else? What else have we got? Another hidden credit card. Uh, professional water sharpening stone. There you go, right there. Lace, lace, check it out. Like, look at how clean the edge is on that stone. Like, look at the edge on that stone. Here, allow me to make this full screen. I wish I could zoom in. But if you look, can you see right there? Look at that, Lacey. That's got to be good. And I mean, all the fact that it's got all these, like, waves across the top of it. I bet that just makes it better for sharpening. I bet that just, like, those waves are, like, recurves on a knife. It gives you more surface contact, more surface area. So you can, you can <laughs> like you know how we talk about recurves it gives you more surface contact because it it it, it maximizes the length of the of the of the of the edge. It, it that all those waves they give you more surface area on the stone, like good God, that's loud. Those raids, yeah, there you go. They're for serrated blades. That is, that is pretty bad. That is pretty, pretty bad. Now, that is all of their stocking stuffers. That's everything they have listed in their stocking stuffer thing. Uh, it was only 24. They only had 24 items. Uh, if you would like to join their mailing list, by all means, I'm just going to tell you, uh, they will butt fuck your email. I know this because that is what Cutlery Corner Network did. I want a two-pack of ninja stress balls. Little stress ninjas. That was disappointing. I, if, <laughs> I'm going to fart in my oatmeal. What the fuck is that all about? Uh, <laughs> That's for cross-eyed people, so they can sharpen straight. We had a cross-eyed. He wasn't cross-eyed. We had to do that. Like I have a lazy eye. I think it's this. I can't remember which one it is. Like it depends on how I'm focused. I've had it for a long time. Uh, I've had it since I was a kid. I did a lot of exercise, like muscle exercises and stuff. It gets worse if I get into the giggle grass or if I've been drinking, but I usually don't have any problems with it. Mine's straight enough that it, it's not that far off. Uh, but I've also had some head trauma and 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 injuries to this side of my, this is, this is the lazy one to this side of my face. And I, I broke my orbital bone and stuff like that. And it, it definitely has affected. But we had a guy on my first ship. I have two, two, two guys that I have the lazy eye story. Uh, we had a dude named Morris. He was an IC man, uh, inter, in, interior communications man. Uh, IC2 Morris. He, he's, 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 he
And so I see two Morris had a very, very pronounced, like, like one eye was this way. The other one was like up there like that. We we're like, what the fuck is he looking at? And you could never tell, like, you didn't know which eye he was using to look at shit. <laughs> I called him all blue eyes. One blue that way, one blue this way. But, uh, he used to walk around the ship and no joke, he would walk into shit. <laughs> You're like, Jesus Christ, how did you join the fucking Navy? Like, how the fuck do you even get into the Navy if you are that that badly uh, lazy-eyed? An orbital bone break? Yeah, it definitely doesn't feel good. It was a result of a bar fight. Uh, I got into another fight here a few years ago. I have a scar above my eye, and sometimes you can see it, like right here in videos, you can see like that scar that runs under my eye, like right there to there. That was a fairly good size cut. I got that in a fight, uh, and my wife was all worried that I had broken my orbital bone, and I, I didn't go to the hospital. I took care. She said, "What if, what if you broke that bone in your face?" And I was like, "It's not broke." She's like, "How do you know?" I was like, "Because I've had it broke before." She's like, "Well, it could be broke," and I'm like. No, it's not. And even though it hurt real bad, my face was all bruised up. I pushed on it and she was like, I was like, see, I didn't pee my pants and fall down and cry. She's like, what? And I was like, I've had an orbital bone break. I know what it feels like. I broke this one. Holy shit, old blue eyes. Bubbles fucking throwing in another. Goddamn bubbles. <laughs> Hang on. Let me get this set up. Thank you very much for the 50 bones. Damn, dude. I think I think I need to put you on my <laughs> It's the rest of the actually hey, check this out. I actually worked with the guy that was there uh was one of the producers on their album. He had a gold record hanging up. Anthony Corwin. Cor Corwin Cor Corwin Corwin Corwin. I can't remember which. He worked for me at Lockheed Martin and uh, security stuff. Uh, absolutely. He, and I was like, no. And he goes, yeah, Bone Thugs and Harmony. He goes, I was one of the, I was one of the, uh, uh, not producers. He was one of the, he did something. At any rate, he was like, uh, $50 you should sub to his YouTube. I will, as soon as I figure out where the fuck it is. I don't know if you know this. It's really hard. Like, I will have to go and find a comment and click on it. If you don't have at least, like, 500 subs, it's almost impossible to find your channel. That is one of the worst things about YouTube. It is almost fucking impossible to find a channel with less than 500 subs. Uh, that sounded like a cow having an orgasm from a bull biting her bell. Oh. Yo, what's up? Brother man, what's up, Mr. Jo Moses? I have not seen you in the Gilded server, Jeremiah. If you find it, let me know. I couldn't. What are we talking about? Yeah, because he doesn't have, like, that's what I'm saying. It's really hard. Like, if you type in his channel name, it absolutely, you can't find it. You're not going to be able to find it. You have to, like, You'll have to like find a video that he commented on on YouTube and then click on his chat and it'll take you to it and then you can subscri subscribe. Uh, I did too. They're from Ohio. From Cleveland? Cleveland, I believe, or Columbus? I don't remember which. One of those two. I got news for you. Like, you can name any, like, everybody's like, oh, well, you always talk about Cincinnati and Toledo. And I'm, they were, I was like, to be honest, Toledo, Cincinnati, Akron, Dayton, uh, Canton, Akron, Canton area up near the, the fucking Football Hall of Fame. You name a city in Ohio, and it's probably a shithole. Like, it just really is. Maslin, uh, 
a- any any name a city in Ohio, and it's gonna be like probably on a list somewhere of like the worst places to live. He might not have created a channel. He had to. Lace, he had to. You see how he's got a name there where it says Bubbles and he's able to comment and he's a paying member? Can't do that without a channel. Just because you have a ch- just because you don't, just because you made a channel doesn't mean you have to put up any content. But everybody that has uh, an icon and a name and can subscribe, it's a channel. It's just that you just haven't uploaded any content to it yet. So, um, we could look at more. You guys want to see what else is on Karate Mart besides just this stuff? We could look at some other Karate Mart stuff. You guys want to look at what do you want to look at? Weapons? You want to look at Kung Fu weapons? Oh, guys. It's Bubbles. See how the name of, see how his name, okay, watch this. See how it says Bubbles? That's his channel name. That's everybody's channel. Like, ev- Paul Mills, that's your channel name. Nathan Thurman, that's your channel name. EDC and Lace, that's her channel name. You, you do. If you're commenting, you made an account. You just haven't uploaded anything. If you have an account like this, you, uh, I guarantee, okay, hang on. Just log in through Gmail. Yeah, but I'm saying it's that's that account. That's how you upload stuff to channels. There you go. See? Lace. I... I have got over 2,000 videos on this, and I'm telling you, if you can sub to it, it's a channel. Uh, uh, You can. I'm telling you right now. Like, that is... Because because you got to have a certain number of subs. But it is searchable because fucking... It's absolutely searchable. You just can't find it with less than 500 subs. That's the difference. I'm telling you, everyone here has a channel. That's your channel name. You just are not really searchable unless you have at least 500 subs or at least, uh, I think you got to have at least like 20 or 30 videos before you're searchable. I bet you can. I subscribe to, I've subscribed to channels that don't have any content all the time. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll show you. I'll show you. Hang on. Let me uh let me go over here to YouTube. YouTube, there's my channel. Let's find my library of my videos. Uh my videos. Let's see here. We'll find all these comments. All right, here we go show you something. Okay, so everyone here, Mark Ridgewell, has a playlist to subscribers. Watch this. Subscribe. Subscription added. Mark now has it. He has no videos. He has no channels that he lists. And it shows when he joined. But that is absolutely his channel. If he decides to, besides just having a playlist, if he decides to add stuff to it, he absolutely can. You that is his channel. That is that is absolutely how it works. No, 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 no. Like you guys don't have to. I'm just saying. Like that's absolutely how it works. I don't care if you can't search him. He has a channel. Oh wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Here you go. Okay, so like there's Mark Ridgewell. Let's go back to this. So any of these people, anybody that makes a comment, this is a channel. All you have to do is add content to it. It's all you have to do. Like that is what they do. The channel's already set. It's already there. Let's go back. To my, come on. Guys, what are we doing today? No, we're not doing that. So just because you don't, just because you don't have content 
and it doesn't seem like you're searchable, I absolutely can I absolutely can find a video that bubbles. I can find a video that Bubbles commented on, find Bubbles' thing, click on it, and subscribe to his channel. His profile is his channel, whether he adds content to it or not. Just... Okay, let's agree to disagree, because I guarantee he could go to that and add a video to it. He absolutely could go and add a video to it, and then it's a channel. If the only thing is that he just hasn't added content to it, Just saying. It's a very, very fine line. An account is what you have to do. All you have to do is just stop adding, start adding con to it, content to it, and then it's a channel. You have, there are channels that don't have any valid actual content. It's just playlists. You stop this. Everybody go find Bubbles. And subscribe, and then start messaging him, telling him he has to put up content. He's up to seven subs. Like, I don't see how you can sub someone's account. I disagree. It is that simple. It really is that simple. I have several YouTube accounts. It's easy just that it's several YouTube channels. It's like that. I don't care. There you go. I need to stay away from that. I don't need any more of that. It, once you set up, you're basically, that's setting up a Google account. All the other things that go with it, your channel, your playlist, all that stuff, your YouTube account, it's all your channel. Whether you decide whether you decide to or not add content, it's set up. Like all the stuff that you, all the stuff you can do with Google all falls under your email. And once you set up an email account or a Google account, that's it. Like I, I have, you can have multiple chances. How the fuck did you make up my own account? He literally made my own shit without me knowing. No, it was already there. It, it literally was there. You just didn't know it. He didn't make it up. It just happens. It's already built. It's already part. It already comes part and parcel. It's all set up the second you set up your Google account. And then that allows you, if you decide to do content, you just start making content. It all falls under one big umbrella. Careful what you sign up for. Find me in a thrift shop music video from nine years ago with a copyright claim. What's this? Uh, I got a crew gray Rio Jimbo and a PM True crew. Is that what you got for Christmas? But I don't talk about that anymore. You know what I want to talk about? I want to talk. I want to talk about this stuff. I want to talk about handheld. Oh shit! You guys can't see. It. Oops. I want to talk about handheld fighting fans. Now, I do have a lot of friends that are martial artists, and I do understand the idea of a fighting fan. I said I understand the idea of it. I didn't say that it makes any fucking sense. Hi, Angry. I'm Mike. Nice dad joke. Um... It, no one did anything. Oh shit! Now I can complete my <laughs> cosplay set for Mortal Kombat. Yeah, you can. Here, let's. Uh, like, I I understand that they do exist. I'm not trying to say that that steel fighting fans don't exist. I'm just saying they don't make any fucking sense to me. It's like wiping before you poop. Uh, so let's get back here. What else have they got? What do they got? What, the, what else have they got? Um, they got Ninja Gear. You want Ninja accessories? Oh, guys, this is going to be fun. This one's going to be fun.
What? No one did anything. P. Any, okay. Any thring? What's it? Any thring? <laughs> no one did any thring. Thring. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you even write with a speech impediment. <gasps> <laughs> I love you, Bubbles. I love you. Bubbles! Um... Too late, I already saw it. Okay. All right. Give me a second. I think I think this is I think this is gonna be a long video. I think it's gonna be a longer live feed. I'm in a good mood. And I am doing a members live feed tomorrow, sometime. I don't know when. It's over there somewhere. Um Let's be nice to Bubbles. Yeah, I was, I'm just like, Bubbles is, Bubbles was having, we were, we were doing this in, uh, in the video the other night in the, uh, in the chat channel. Um, steel fist gloves. These are, these are ninja accessories. Steel fist gloves. These are, uh, paratactical gloves. Da, 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 da. Steel shot filled pouch on the back of the hand. That's still that's filled with steel shot. Uh guys, we have a name for that. It's called a sap. If you take that glove off, if you take that glove off and thump somebody with it, oh they're they're done. Take there's an ouch you got. But the thing is, like that's gotta hurt your hand if you hit something. Like you're not gonna punch anyone with them. You take the glove off and smack him with it like a sap. Does anybody know what everybody knows what a sap is? Not just not just like that dude that you knew that that his girlfriend was cheating on him and you tried to tell him and he wouldn't listen. And you're like, man, what a fucking sap. Like I tried to warn him. Not that. That's not what I'm talking about. We all know one of those guys. We all have one of those friends. Not gonna lie, I cut did did it have the steel shot pouch in it? Like seriously, did it? That's because that's that's weird. You guys have girlfriends? Yeah. Yeah. Like I've we had we had some guys, we had some guys on the ship. All right. I don't want to go back and look at that for a minute. We had some guys on the ship that always hang out and they would play Dungeons and Dragons all the time, like constantly. And I wasn't really bagging on them too much, but they were like. They were just, they were complete and complete. Like, they're the guys, they're the, these were guys that you expected to see play Dungeons and Dragons. And one time, I, I, I think the wife was, the, my wife was, uh, oh, I remember my wife had uh, went back to her parents' house. Uh, so she had driven, she had driven down to her parents' house, like a 20 hour drive. And so she was spending some time with her parents. And so I just, I worked. Like, if my wife wasn't home, I had no real reason to go home. She took the dog with her. We had a golden, uh, German Shepherd at that time. And I was, oh, Zorro's here. Hey, hey buddy. Uh, what's up, Hawkins? Uh, but at any rate, he, uh, so I, I was on the ship, and these guys are playing Dungeons and Dragons in the lounge. I'm like, it's like a, it was like after hours on like a Wednesday night. And I'm like, it was late. And I was like, I'm just, I'm just going to sleep here. I'm not even, I just ate on the ship. I didn't even bother driving home to just turn around and drive back the next day. And these guys are playing, hey, G.I. Blah, you want to play Dungeons and Dragons? And just out of care, because I usually didn't, like, pick on the kids. I would pick on the guys that were popular and shit. I would stand up for the geeks. But these kids, like, I just, it, I couldn't stop it. Like, it just blurted out. I looked at him and I goes, no, no, I've actually seen a vagina. <laughs> and I turned and walked away. And one of my buddies was like, what the fuck? That was cold, dude. And I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't know where that one came from. I, I literally, I, I, I got along with everybody. I was like one of the, I was really, a, really one of the most popular guys on the ship everywhere I went on, on all my commands. And so I was always, I, I just, I didn't fuck with the losers. They got enough going on in their life. You don't have to fuck with them. And I would get mad. I'm like, don't fuck with him, man. How's he ever going to get better if all you do is fuck with him? Like, how is he going to learn to be a normal person? Normal fucking human being if all you're doing is picking on him. So I was like, uh, 
I, I just like out of character. I was like, no, no, I've actually seen a vagina. Sometimes, sometimes you do have to take the easy layup. Sometimes you do. The guy I was talking to, his name was Mark uh, Lichtenberger. We called him L13 because his name was an L followed by 13 other letters. Couldn't spell it. Like his jacket, instead of putting, because we all had, uh, we all had these, uh, we all had these uh, flotation coats that we wore in the winter. If you were outside, you wore this. And it was like, it was an actual like insulated coat, but it was a, it was also a life jacket. Uh, and they had our names on the back of it. His literally, it was no joke. It was literally an L hyphen 13. They could not make his name fit on his jacket. Ross Glint, Jen, I was just talking about that uh, earlier. The sharpening is probably going to go away. Uh, I just, I can't, I'm going to finish the knives that are here. Um, I, 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 I just, I'm going to finish the ones that are in, and I don't think I'm taking on any more sharpening with the exception of specific things like makers and things like that. I just can't do it. My arm is shot. My shoulder is shot. I can't grind knives. I was going to try. I own, I owe Aiden a hundred dollars because I have not made his knife yet because I can't stand in front of a grinder long enough to grind even that small Kiridashi. I can't, I can barely lift my arm above my head most days. So, uh, yeah, I was going to say Lacey probably could. It's not that I don't want it. I mean, I'll do a way better job than she would. But like, if you, if you, like, I, I'll I'll definitely outdo anything she's gonna do, but the fact is I can't do it. You may as well go to a you may as well go to my substandard competitor. I'm kidding. I've she 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 does a great job. I've seen her stuff on Instagram. So get a hold of Lacey. You can get a hold of her. I'm pretty sure it's pretty easy to get a hold of her. She has a YouTube channel. You can contact her in her uh, comment section. Probably has an email listed. There you go. Was that was that. Was that was that adequate or was that kind of a dickish way to do it? <laughs> I got into the giggle grass. What do you expect? I had a uh I had another kid that was he had 14. Uh I can't I can't remember his name. Uh there, there will be, there will be exceptions to that. I'll get to, I'll get to that. Um, uh, we had a, uh, a kid that worked for me. His name was Juan. And everybody's like, you're not supposed to call him by his first name. I was like, have you seen that young man's last name? And they're like, no. And I was like, I can't pronounce it. They're like, what? I was like, it's like five different names. They're all Spanish based names. I can't pronounce that. And so my chief was like, yeah, but you're not supposed to call him Juan. I was like, you, you tell me what his last name is. He, he fucking looks at it and he goes, so Juan, huh? And I was like, see, I fucking told you. Uh, hey, Mike, you should pull the Polish customs knife. I'm not pulling it up. I don't want to. I can't afford anything and it'll make me want to spend money. I will tell everyone you can go to the Polish custom knives. I, I don't want to see anything. Uh, yeah, I forgot to do this. What? No more crazy shark. You're the best guy I know. Uh, yeah, that's, um, should I just do the rest of the show like this? That's, uh, gonna be counterproductive. It's, uh, absolutely. I just, if I sharpen for more than like 45 minutes the whole next day or so, my arms just fuck. Uh, I ran the vacuum cleaner. I ran the fucking vacuum cleaner yesterday and I was like, I got done. I was like, Jesus Christ. I'm probably going to wind up on permanent disability. Uh, on eh, eh. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, kind of like Pete and Cedric. Yeah. I I, can't, I don't do cut tests very often. I do cut tests all the time. I, and I don't cut like, I, I'm not trying. Okay. When I do cut tests, I'm just testing to see how it cuts. I'm not trying to see how long it's going to hold its edge. 
I'm not trying to see how much cardboard I could burn through. I'm not trying to do it because guess what? I'm not going to tell you guys any of that because it's not scientific data. I could do the same knife three different days and wind up with three different results because a person using, like, unless you have, unless you source your cardboard from the exact same place every time, unless you do, like, specific things every single time, you're going to get it. If you're the same angle, the same amount of pressure, it's going to be different every time. So I don't like that sort of testing, and that's not what I'm looking for anyway. So when I do a cut test, I'm just trying to see, how does it cut? Does it feel like it's binding? Does it feel like, uh, does it feel like it, it, it's got too much drag? Does it feel, you know, I'm just seriously just trying to see how easily does it cut through corrugated or double wall cardboard? Not trying to do edge retention. Because to tell you the truth, I don't care. Like I can sharpen my knives if they need it. I know how to use a strop. I know how to use a hone. So, and when I say sharpening, if a knife is not fucking horrible, I can absolutely touch it up. I hit it on the hone, stuff like that. As far as like reprofiling and stuff like that, that's the ones I'm talking about. And I may be, the whole thing is I have to stop. I may be able to work my way back to it. I just don't know yet. I just have to stop for a while to see. Oh, shit. What in the fuck are you doing, Bubbles? You didn't even put a comment for me to read. I could leave it like this and just talk the whole rest of the show like this. Imagine Mike with a zirconium shoulder. I feel like I don't care. Give me something. I don't know. I can't listen to that. That's going to drive me fucking nuts. I'd rather listen to it in Echo. Uh, Bubbles, send me something. <laughs> you might not want that. Might not want that. Cutting cardboard is literally soothing to me. 100% agree results are accurate. Say with, you'll never get the same results are accurate with it. Yeah, it depends on the kind of cardboard. You know what the best, like, People like, oh, cutting cardboard, da 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 da. I'm like, cardboard's not that. Re cardboard's not going to give you any feel as to whether a knife has a hot spot or not. And they're like, oh yeah, well, I was like, not really. You want to know if it's got a hot spot? You go get a, you go grab a, a, a oak dowel rod, and you either try to feather stick it or you try to whittle end the pieces off of it. Because I'm gonna tell you right then that's when you're going to find a hot spot on a knife. You can cut cardboard all day, and then you go out and do that, like, ooh, hey, I didn't know. I was like, man, I'm going to carry a knife for like three, four days. I didn't know that had that hot spot. That's when I talk about a hot spot on a knife, that's when I'm talking about it. Like, it's not like I show it. It's not like I'm just like just holding the knife. It's like, oh, my God, that's not, that feels horrible. If you can feel it in hand while you're just holding the knife, you're going to definitely complain about it if you're cutting hardwood. I'm telling you right now, if it's like, oh, I can feel that pocket clip or I can feel that edge. And then you go out and you bear down really hard to try and get through some wood. You're going to be like, yeah, no, that fucking sucks. Yeah, uh, I work with corrugated paper, making boxes every day. I can tell you that even if you source your corrugated, it's always it's not the same. No, it's not. Uh. Yeah, I'm going to do your 940. It's here. I almost shit myself. I was like, I couldn't figure out where it was at. I was looking for like a handful of my knives, your knife, and like fuck $7,000 worth of customs that were supposed to be here. And I was like, where the fuck are they? Were in, they, were, they were in Tino's safe at his house because when I had the fumigation done, I wasn't leaving them here and I wasn't going to leave them in the safe here. I took them to Tino's house. So. Zoro is here. See, Mike Bubbles loves me. Yeah, I know. I know. I just don't know if I can. Why? I can't figure it out. Uh, yeah, that's the other way to do it. Uh, if you want to test, I'll tell you what. I'll test. I'll tell you how we tested ARRPM nine. I have a video. Would you guys like to see how we tested the ARRPM nine? 
I have a video. I will show you. Let me go to my YouTube channel. I'll go to my channel and I will show you how Elliot and I tested AR RPM 9. Uh, let's go to my channel. Videos. Recently uploaded. Nope, I got to do it. I got to do it the other way. Hang on a second. Um, let's go to videos. That's not why I want to do that. Okay, give me just a second. I'll show you, like, Elliot and I, Elliot and I literally tested ARRPM9 with an anvil and a hammer. And I'll show you how we tested it. Uh, I just have to go to, I gotta, I gotta do it through my studio app. Um, let's see here. Content. Filter by. Visibility. Unlisted, apply. Okay, I'm going to share this and we're going to watch. Well, maybe not. It might be not this. Let's see here. Here we go. Let me. All right, Elliot and I are. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. RPM 9 steel. And this is the way Elliot tests things. Did we just cut to a penny? What's the edge look like? Did it chip or did it just deform a little? Not too fucking terrible, actually. Right? It's not too shabby at all. It's not shabby. We just pounded it through a. Uh... Hold that. You hold that. Okay. Let's try Nitro V. Nitro V. Let's see what Nitro V does. This is going to be fun in a video. This is how we tested things. that that floor also not too shabby that's how we tested it we were just testing to see if it chip any of that There's stuff there. Like that. let's see here um actually elliot i'm not even seeing like a shiny spot no i held up really well that's the ar oh, knife. that didn't even dude that's still sharp this knife oh wow that's Im that's pretty impressive well, it's a very non-scientific. No, I know, but I'm just saying, like. But you'll see that I actually do this other thing. I'm, I'm not even seeing, dude. I'm not even seeing like a shiny edge roll. That was uh That was on ARPM nine. So sorry, sorry. I mean, I know not everybody was interested in that. Uh, what are you saying here? You probably, uh, you are probably the reason Daft Punk. Split up half to listen to it in that. Uh, I cut exactly the same cardboard, typically tests. Uh, well, I'm saying, like, Will would know he works where they make cardboard. And even if you get the same cardboard every time, it's going to be different a lot of times. Um, probably should check out Mike's Sea Snake. Yeah, that's a good one right there. That you probably could still get it before Christmas. Um, Because you have a great personality. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. And a fat ass. Yeah, I saw that. And a, and a fat ass. <laughs> so I'm guessing I'm fake. Uh, let's see here. That was interesting. Hey, don't say that. Fuck them. We're cool. That's not cool. I thought we were friends. Uh, no, Bubbles, don't do that. Remember, hit the like button. Later, Bubbles, it was nice talking with you. Yeah, it has to be different because the numbers are consistent enough. Otherwise, the sea snake's a great neck knife. Lick the like. Yeah, don't go, don't go anywhere, Bubbles. I was just playing. Yeah, we get our corrugated from the same place most times. And even where when I run the same order, which I do every week, the paper will be different from week to week. I mean, trees are different. 
Man, did you guys piss bubbles? See, what did you guys do? You pissed bubbles off. Man. Bubbles, let me get my phone. Bubbles, I'll DM you. I'm sorry. Don't, don't you, don't you do that to anyone. <gasps> I have something. I have something. I have something everyone has to see. I have, I have something everyone has to see. The people on my Gilded server have already seen it. You guys have to see it. I have to share it to my phone. Did I already do it? I already did it. I did it earlier. I had this planned. No. Oh, it didn't save. Okay. I have to get my phone, and I'm going to send you guys. I'm going to show you guys something. Hang on. I'll be right back. I, I, well, I say that. I'm not actually going anywhere. It's right here. I, uh... I tried really, I, I had to get this, I had to get this video from Jim Skelton. And if you're on a Gilded server, you've already seen it. But this is possibly the best thing I've seen. Have I sharpened Rex 121? Yes, I have. And no, I won't do it again. Well, I, I will. I've sharpened Max Mac and Rex 121. Uh, I have the stuff to do it. It's just time consuming, even when you have the right stones. I, um... I sent, I gotta, I gotta send this to my computer so that we can, uh, gotta find it first. Hang on. Here. Okay. I'm sending it to my, sending it to my computer and we're going to watch it. Okay. Now hang on. I have to. Man, this is a pain in the ass. I gotta do this. I have to. Okay, it's ready. That's ready. Okay, so I'm gonna share a screen. Chrome tab, window. This is this is what this is what I got from Jim Skelton. That we all have to see. Like everyone has to see this. Are you guys ready? Oh my God, this is this is so so good. This is the most amazing thing I've seen in a while. I just have to bring it to the front. I haven't seen anything that made me laugh that hard in a very, 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 very long time. I laughed so hard, I thought I was going to pee. Mike is high as hell. I'm not low. I am not low. Hey, you know what? I think I, think I earned it. Don't you? Like, the wife and kid are gone. I'm here. I'm working my ass off. I have videos all the way out through the middle of next week already filmed. I have stuff there that's still um, ready to be edited. Guys, I don't know who all's here, but we've got uh, 30, 33 people. I don't know how many likes. If you're here, drop a like. I'll lift you up like that, Bubbles. I, you are fantastic. Thank you. But I actually, I'll tell you what, I had a blast when we watched Cutlery Corner Network. Uh, me, Zorro, Robert, and Bubbles. I had a very good time. I had fun. We may do something like that later tonight. Uh, no. Uh, they are allowing Rosecraft to do it. Um, well, then that's a lot of people didn't. Um, so I was like, 
what I was watching I was watching Instagram and I saw that video and I was like, oh shit, I gotta have that. And it was Jim Skelton that posted up. And so I sent him a picture and I was like, I gotta have that, I gotta have that video. And I was like, I offer this in payment. And it was uh it was the the star the Star Wars like Padme's like, well, and why? My Anakin, you've grown. And he's like, Oh, you got the dick pics. And then fucking Obi-Wan Kenobi's like, for fuck's sake. And the next panel below it was Yoda with a phone. It's like, for me, this was not. <laughs> and I was like, I have no idea. I don't have anything to do with Rosecraft. I have no idea who's making what for them or what. Uh, I just, I, if, if, um, the whole thing is, I get, like I said, my dad died on Christmas night here for us. It was after Christmas for my mom. My mom made my dad promise to not die on Christmas day. I got a call from my mother. You ready for this? This is hilarious. My dad had terminal cancer and, uh, I had already been home and I, I, I made my amends with my father and not spending time with him and all the things that we should have done and all that shit. And so, um, I, I get a call from my mother and she's very upset. My mother Christmas has been her thing for years. Like our house would look like this. This is what my house looked like growing up at Christmas. There was shit everywhere. She painted decorations and shit. So she calls me. She calls me and she said, that motherfucker. And I'm like, Ooh, what happened? She's like, you're fucking fault. She's like, I know what's going to happen. He's going to die on Christmas because he hates Christmas and he wants to fucking ruin it for all of us. That mean old cocksucker is going to die on Christmas and just fucking ruin Christmas for the rest of the family. And I was like, oh my God. She was so conflicted with the fact that my dad was dying and he was really sick. And the fact that he, she didn't want him to fucking ruin Christmas. She was so, so conflicted about it. She's crying and she's mad and she was laughing. And I was like, what in the fuck? I think my mother's having a breakdown. So um, you ever sharpen tungsten carbide? Yeah, did, did a video about it. You can find it here. Like it. Hit the like button on it. Maybe even uh, do one of them super like things where you can like, it's like a super chat for a pre-recorded video. <laughs> but yeah, so... <laughs> So my mother was like, I talked to him. He promised he wouldn't die on Christmas. And I'm like, well, that's, that's good. Just after midnight in Ohio, my father passed away. Do you know what time it was here? Yeah, it was nine o'clock at night on Christmas Day. He promised not to fuck up my mom's Christmas. But I know that he was like, I still can get the boy. <laughs> Oh, uh, I have something I want to say. Like, I know you guys see it. I would like everybody that follows my, my comment section and follows videos and looks at the comments. Any of you that see somebody that's like, well, I don't like this video. I'm unsubscribing. I want you to do me a favor because I want to do it, but I don't want to be. I don't want to do it. I want to do it, but I don't want to do it because I don't want to piss off everybody. I, mean, I want it to be like, hey, man, it's not an airport. You don't have to announce your departure. Somebody unsubs for my channel to tell you the truth. I honestly don't fucking care. It, it's not that I want people to unsubscribe, but like to tell me you're going to unsubscribe, it's not going to change the way I do videos. It's not going to change my opinion to that knife. You know what I mean? That's funny. Gonna piss people off though. Yeah, I'm just saying, I don't fucking care. Like, if you see somebody going to come, because here's the thing there's a reason I don't comment on a lot of other videos. Like, I comment on Jared's stuff. Uh, there's a reason I don't comment or like respond to a lot of the comments. Uh, because I recognize that I'm not the main character of this story. It's my channel. Like, I don't do this because I think I'm the main character of the story of the world, but that's the problem with modern culture is everyone thinks they're the main character and everyone's supposed to give a shit about whatever, what any one little person, any one person 
in the comments section of something on social media has to say. And I got news for you. I fucking don't. I go on Twitter and I post a couple things here and there. Typically, it's links to stuff here on the channel. Or I comment on YouTube creator stuff that I do like because there it's much more acceptable to reach out. And, uh, but to tell you the truth, if you want to know, I don't put much stock in most of the comments I see. I did cut myself when I did that earlier. <laughs> I don't know. I've been watching this Ding Dong's videos for about six and a half years now. Yeah, it's about that's about right. It's about how long it's been since I started making videos. They've gotten better. Things have absolutely improved here at the at the Crazy Sharp channel. I've put a lot of I like basically all of the money that you guys have ever given me has went back into the channel. The green screen, the software, the microphone, the lights. These lights were fucking expensive. <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking lie. I got these lights. They're rechargeable. They're panels. They're about this big. They've got a dial for the color temperature, for the, the color uh, temperature, and a, a brightness dial, and a panel that shows you how much battery you've got. Yeah, I'll grab one. Hang on. It's right here. Because I got tired of stepping over cords. Look at that. I can adjust brightness, color temperature. Now I got to set this back the way I had it. Give me a second. There we go. Those lights weren't cheap. Man, I'll tell you what, it is so nice not having, like I have enough cords already. Like if you can see it, I got a, I got a headphone cord. I got a microphone cord. I got a charger cord for the microphone. I got the cord for the, uh, the power cord. And then I've got all the other crap that's, that's connected back there. So Condor's been put out 14 C28 end blades worth looking into. Ooh, I can't, I, okay. I've not seen many bad Condors. Like for a cheap knife, they're good. Uh, they're good. I like that big, have you guys seen that huge fat buoy that they've got? Hang on a second. Let me see if I can. I'm not, you know what? I don't want to pull up any more knife socks. I really don't. I've had I've had all I don't want to look at it. So you can get some decent flashlight. Uh, Ruby Vaughn's has come out with new stuff. Um, oh, petrified fish. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Le uh, petrified fish and Migron are both good choices. I think that's what it is. The Undertaker buoy, the Condor Undertaker buoy. That's a bad looking bitch right there. I'm like, ooh, I don't need it. Doesn't mean I don't want it. Cold Steel has some, uh, the SE Junglers are nice too. I had, uh, I had, a, I had somebody send me a Jungler here a while back. You could get a Kukri and a, yeah, he said, what he said, he had a $200, $200 gift card. Condor stuff is good. Like Condor stuff is actually really good. Um, You're lucky all the stuff I bought to make videos was on the floor of a Key West waiting for me to get my table set up and got flooded while well, most of the insurance still hasn't paid out. Your luck. Oh, oh, lucky. I'm lucky. Ah, I got gotcha. you. Into the giggle grass. I'm having a hard time with the reading. I'm not real great with it to begin with. I'm like, why is there so many letters in it? Um. Fucking Ian's still messing you up. I don't... What happened with Ian? Oh! I was like, who the fuck's Ian? Where's he at? I need an address. He gets a punch -a gram We may upgrade him to a kick -a gram I get it. Figured it out. I didn't need any help. Put two and two together and got something that was pretty close to the right answer. <laughs> uh... But like I said, for videos, light is one of the most important things. And I can't ever, I can't figure it out. Like I will, I will use the same light settings 
I've got little spots marked. I know the angles I need my light at. And I'll have one video where there's no shadows, where it's not all fucked up and shadowy. And then one video that is. And I'm like, what in the fuck? I set like, I'm like, okay, uh, 45 and 45 uh, on the color temperature, 37 on the brightness. That should get rid of the shadows. That worked last time. And I, if I could start filming, I'm like, no, it didn't. What the fuck? That's the same thing I did last time. I didn't get shadows. Garage door closed. That door closed. Overhead lights on. And I'm like, why the fuck have I got shadows when I didn't last time? And I got to turn the brightness up or turn it down. I'm like, what in the actual fuck? And then I'll turn the thing around. And for that, it's supposed to be 5,050. But then sometimes that doesn't get, like I get shadows or I get shadows on the thing behind me. I was like, how does that change? Like I'm inside, I'm like in a bubble. Like the garage door is closed. The door inside the house is closed. It doesn't matter what time of day, the lighting should be exactly the same. But it fucking isn't. And I can't figure it out. It's driving me nuts. And it's not that it's not that the, the things are are like set up wrong. It's just not. I don't know what the fuck is going on. You guys are having a side conversation. I love when you guys do that. That means you're just gonna stick around and keep watching. I have a question because I've never watched. I don't watch a lot of lives for a real long time. Like I'll watch a live for a few minutes and I'll leave and then I'll watch it some more and I'll come back. Do you guys see ads while the live is going? I, I, I had a cold steel recon Tonto. Uh, and uh, it got stolen. If you can believe that, like some military kid would have stolen my shit. No ads, huh? I don't know. That's weird. So maybe. Fuck you, Chuck. Just kidding. I mean, you're a paying member, so I, I can. I can get by on that. Oh, so for those of you guys that didn't hear the story. Last time, Chuck sent me a husk knife. This is hilarious. And my father-in-law is very, very picky about cutlery, tools, knives. Yeah, he was a master carpenter. And so he's extremely, extremely picky about, uh, about cutting implements. Because, like, he's, like, if there's a temple that gets damaged, like in an earthquake, he's sent to oversee. Like, I watched that dude cut a 90-degree angle with a saw, a handsaw, one of those silky handsaws. Cut a straight 90 degree without it without measuring, just eyeballed a 90 degree. Um, see, when you guys do that, I don't get a fucking thing. I I don't know if you guys know that. My YouTube premium payment, no joke. Like I, I get my entire cash out from YouTube. I get I get like five dollars from YouTube premium. They're like, well, we pay you for at for the views on that. I was like, yeah, yeah, I make theoretically between 700 and 1200 dollars a month theory theoretically like that's not the actual number because i'm legally not allowed to tell you what i make on youtube and out of that five to nine dollars of that is youtube premium that is you that's why youtube's pushing it because they don't have to pay us they fuck like, youtube premium fucks every content creator you're watching like i i get it people don't like playing watching ads that's how i make money on this channel if you're doing ad blockers, I would ask that you just don't use ad blockers when you watch my channel. Like, I've never understood that, too. That is weird. Like, people will pay for regular TV. They pay for that and get ads that they can't skip. Yet, they will pay money to skip ads on a platform where they could watch it for free. That's like wiping before you poop. It don't make no fucking sense. I'm just saying, like, it doesn't make any goddamn sense to me. You'll sit through three minutes of ads on a regular channel. And, but you won't, but you will not sit through a 15 second ad on a YouTube video that you get for free. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't like ads. I don't like watching ads at all. There are some clever ones, though.
I'm just saying, like, I if like I get it, like the YouTube premium thing, it's it's enticing, but like it is absolutely YouTube. It is absolutely YouTube's new way of butt fucking the creators with a broken beer bottle. It really is. Um they they were talking like YouTube sent this thing out. If we offered to buy all of your videos, and that, or just wouldn't be run, we just wouldn't run ads on them. But if we like bought all of your videos at one set price, what would that price be? And I was like, I don't know. Depends on how popular my channel becomes. Because right now, my past videos aren't that valuable. But if I get to like two, three hundred subscribers, two hundred, two, three hundred thousand subscribers, and I'm getting to where I'm getting like 10, 12, 15,000 views a day. Well, those videos become more valuable, don't they? So they want to buy them from me now. No, and I even if I did, I wouldn't tell you because, like I said, I don't. I I think it's I think it's a fucking bullshit fucking scam for YouTube to not be able to not be paying. What was I getting ready to do? I was going to do something. Sorry, I. I lost track of what I was getting ready to do. Um, love to hear you and my father-in-law, you and your father. Oh, I was talking about his knife. So anyway, I sent that knife. God damn. There we go. I sent that knife to, uh, I sent that knife to, to, with my wife. She actually, she took it and she showed it to my father-in-law and she was like, he was upset. So she was like, She's like, she was telling me one of one of my YouTube subscribers bought that and sent it to me for a video. And she was laughing. And she's like, they, they say it's a Japanese kitchen knife. And my father-in-law was like, Kurene, Nihonju nai wo kure. He was like, this is not Japanese. And she was like, she was like, hang on a second, he wants to talk to you. And he's got the knife in his hand, right? And he comes up to the phone and it's on FaceTime. And he goes, Mike. I was like, hi, Papa. He's like, Dare ga kore no gomi ga katta. And I was like, <laughs> he's like, who bought this trash? And I was like, oh, it's a guy named Chuck. And he was like, Mazukashi Gomi. I was like, he's like, it's it's horrible trash. Like, absolutely. So anyone get unskippable ads in the wrong language all the time. I get them in Spanish. My wife's Japanese, so there's a lot of stuff I get that is Japanese because uh, she'll get on her computer and uh, not log out of my, uh, not get out of my, uh, log out of my YouTube account. Uh, not just, it wasn't Hemingway, was it Hemingway or was it, was it Hemingway? I knew there was an off one of the authors, like Six Toes Cats. We had one here. We called him Knuckles because it looked like he was wearing gloves. Like they had boxing gloves on. Had a six-toed cat. It was cute too. Knuckles, like we've seen him. Somebody adopted him. He he was a, a stray, uh, and he was very very skittish. Like wouldn't let me pet him very often. Uh, but yeah, we had one. We called him Knuckles. I got one. He's I, I keep trying to get him to come in the house because if I can get him in the house, I think he likes me enough that he would maybe trust me. To give him a bath. And if I gave him a bath, I would let him in the house. He's so sweet. But he's got bad skin. He's got like, he gets these big open sores on his skin. And I'm like, I can't let him in a house like that. Catcher's mitt. Is this still live? No. No, 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 it's not. It's not. Not at all. Um, well, we got 33 people here. I will tell you. I'm going to do a live feed tomorrow. It's going to be members only live feed. Now, if you want to talk on a members only live feed, you have to do super chat. Like that's, or be a member. So I would say he just wants the food. No. Okay. So Scuzz, the, the cat, the one with the bad skin, he's really sweet. I'll put food, like I'll put food out and he'll like ignore the food and want me to pet him. So what I was going to say is, yeah, I'm going to do that tomorrow. Um, but this evening, I was going to do something to paying members, but we did that on Wednesday. Would you guys just like to stick around a little bit longer and we can watch 
Uh, would you guys like to watch? This is always fun. Would you guys like to watch some of the two minute uh, infomercial, like the two minute infomercial commercials? Would you guys like to do that? I can set that up. I have a playlist. Holy shit, Bubbles is dropping more cash. If you guys want to do that, it's a good time. Well, Ch Chuck, just because you said that, I say we do it. You guys want to do that? Like the as seen on TV commercials? Like the, have you ever wondered what would happen if you ran your knife through the dishwasher? Oh. Uh, I eat birds. I don't feed them. Oh, yeah, that's right. I owe Bubbles. I owe Bubbles Bell. <sighs> Let me get this thing set up here. I don't know, Bubbles. I've asked a lot of times why, but I never get an answer. Uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out what I got to do to get. Have you ever seen a Tim Pool? Uh, have you ever seen a Tim Pool live, live feed? 100, 100, 50, 100, 100, 100. I'm like, Jesus. He doesn't even read them anymore. He does not even read his super chats anymore. He doesn't even fucking try. He can't. He gets so many of them. I was like, Jesus Christ, that dude, I was watching it and I was watching it roll up and I was trying to do a mental tally and I lost count somewhere around $4,000. I was like, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of cash for a life. Like he does a live feed. Like he does a live. I would see do it like twice a week, three times a week, just on super chats. That motherfucker is making like fucking eight grand a week. I was like, holy shit. And I mean, I know he has employees and shit. Robert. God damn it. So everybody's getting, everyone's getting auto-tune bell, but like the length of bell is determinate on the amount. Uh, those are bots. No, they're not. Bots don't drop super chats. If you're into fishing, do you know who? I haven't, I haven't fucking went fishing. I haven't went fishing since I was fucking... When did my dad and I go? Isabel would have been two. She's 15 now. So that would have been 13 years ago. Last time I went fishing with my dad 13 years ago. It's too fucking expensive to go fishing out here. So no, I don't, I don't follow fishing. I don't watch like fishing tournaments and shit like that. I used to enter fishing tournaments. Fishing is like baseball. I'll play baseball all fucking day. Just don't ask me if I can watch a game. I'll watch a game live. Like, I'll watch my wife's softball games. I'll go to those when she played softball. That was always fun. Uh, but, like, honesty, honestly, um, fishing is like that. Like, I'll fish for an entire weekend. I'll go fishing for an entire week. But I sure as fuck don't want to watch it on TV. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, I don't mind mowing the yard. I don't want to play that fucking that mowing simulator game that's on on fucking PlayStation Five. I'm like, nah, I think I'll pass. Like, if I wanted to do chores, I'd have just fucking went outside and done them. I still haven't cleaned up the fucking mess from the from the fumigation. They fucking moved a bunch of shit around and fucking knocked shit over and shit got busted. And I was like, every day I go out there and I look at that stuff still laying. I got my cup of coffee in my hand. I'm like, I should probably clean that up before the landscaper comes. He ain't coming. He's on vacation. He's not even here. He's not coming for like another week. I got time. <laughs> oh, check it. Suck it, Bubbles. What do you get here? Let's see here. There you go. Wow, that sounds weird. So, um, let's see here. Even when I was in baseball, I wouldn't turn on a game before the seventh inning. I'll tell you what I will watch, and it's only because I watch it with my father. I, I, okay, it's not that I'm watching. It's not that I like to watch baseball. I like to spend time with my father-in-law. And so, 
his favorite thing during Obon, which is around the August time frame. When I used to go back, we'd go back in the summer. And that the whole time I was home, they run this high school tournament. It's all the schools. It's like their World Series of Baseball. And I take it really fucking seriously. And there's two games a day. And they play on the professional uh, professional fo- uh, uh, baseball fee- uh, baseball diamonds and everything. And the kids that lose, you see them out there and they're crying and they're, they're shoveling handfuls of the dirt from the field in their bag. Because that was that may be their only chance to ever play there. And it's a souvenir. And it is it, like they take it seriously. I watch that with my father-in-law when I go back in the summer. If I go back in the summer with, with the wife and kid, I will watch that with him every day that I'm there. And it's not so much that I am enjoying the game. I'm enjoying hanging out with my father-in-law. And he gets fucking excited. And we'll get we'll drink beer and get oh, Jesus. We got we got torched like 11 o'clock in the morning one time. The game started. We started drinking at like 10, 30, 11 o'clock in the morning. By the afternoon game, my mother-in-law was like, you two can't have anything else to drink. And we're like, oh, <laughs> you're not a prophet. You spelled idiot wrong. Ring, 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 motherfucker. Here we go. Let's see. That has scared the fuck out of me twice now. Really has. Uh, Let's see here. Mike definitely has a double chin. He's built like Buddha statue. (laughs) Motherfucker, go look in a mirror. You look like a fucking... (laughs) You look like a Cuban Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Ish. <laughs> Later, Todd. Um, I, I don't know. Do you guys do you guys want to do something a little bit longer, uh, or is everybody wanting to bounce? I am willing to do whatever you guys want. Uh, we could, like I said, we could watch. We could watch infomercials on youtube they are fucking hilarious matter of fact you know what i'm making the cuban poo bear um as a matter of fact you know what i'm just i'm not even giving you the option that's what we're gonna do we're gonna watch some of these infomercials let me see here uh playlists uh here we go short infomercials play are off you- Tired of peel, peel, peeling potatoes? Stop! <laughs> Introducing Handy Hang Peel, on. the quick and easy way to prepare a meal. I'm trying to, I'm trying to share it. I'm, I know you can hear it. Then just rub, peel, and scrub. Because I can't figure out how to get the goddamn mute. It's that easy. The secret is the Handy Peel's molded rubbing nubs that grip and cleanly peel the skin. Old-fashioned peeling Look is hard and this. wasteful. With Handy Peel, you just rub, peel, and scrub. Just look at the difference. Now you can prepare a that. pile of potatoes in no time. I don't think it actually of works. mouth-watering, creamy mashed, or fabulous homemade French fries cooked to perfection. I like how they Sweet like all of you really use hard this. To peel with a knife. It's gonna make the Ouch, potatoes. That better. hurts. Oh, Not with handy is. peel. Simply rub, rinse, and peel all at the same time for delicious whipped uh, sweet potatoes or yams. Stuff. With handy all peel, the... you can prepare tasty homemade chips in no time. And it's not just for all types of potatoes. I don't, I don't think it's Handy work. Peel is perfect for carrots. Done in three seconds. Like, Preparing fresh veggies filled like, with vitamins like, and nutrients is as easy as rub, peel, and scrub. You're about to divorce your Use husband? a gentle swipe and, and enjoy up. corn with no Back. strings attached. Oh, God. Amazing. Stop with the old-fashioned tedious peel, peel, peeling. Stop with the painful slips. And look at all the waste. Token Get the handy wife. peel and leave most well, of the veggie for the meal. Not a, Order uh, your all-in-one rub, peel, and scrub handy peel for just $10. That's right. right. Order during this special TV-only introductory ah! offer and get the incredible Handy Peel plus a risk-free that 90-day money-back guarantee for just $10. This is a limited offer. Order now. To order Handy Peel for just $10, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-944-6516. That's 1-800-944-6516. We, ha- we haven't done or send this a check or money order to the address on your screen. So don't delay. I call 1-800-944-6516 and order Handy Peel today. Call now. Jesus. Yeah. 
Uh oh. No, I don't. I think where anybody asked. No, I don't use an ad blocker, and I don't. Gift. Well, we took both Cravender and Suppress to the Third Street Promenade in Santa Monica, California. What is this? There's over 45 great restaurants in a three-block area. First, we tested Cravender. Boy, are these folks in for a surprise. Watch this. And I have chocolates. I want another piece, and I'll put it down, knowing I shouldn't have any more. But I'll go get more. It's a good yeah, because it's fucking chocolate. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Mm. Now, do you think there's a product that can help you not eat that brownie anymore? She <laughs> gotta be amazing. careful with them brownies. Be more than amazing. That would be a lifesaver. It's a good brownie, though. What's wrong? It's changing the taste. Yeah, because it fucking stinks. No, I really, I really don't want. To. <laughs> no, because it fucking stinks, and it makes it taste like poo. I really don't want to because it's changing the taste. Okay, I'm not gonna make you guys. We'll we'll do this instead. I'm not gonna. But I will tell you a story about that. We uh we had left, um we had left the the uh, dairy shack in West Lafayette, Ohio, which is like six miles from my house. Uh, that's how far it is from my, it's like 12 miles, six, 12, 12, 10 miles, 10, 12 miles. Uh, but that's where the high school was. And so my mother had picked, uh, me and my sister up. Um, and, uh, we went, we were at a friend's house and she picked us up and we stopped and got ice cream at the dairy hut. And on the way back, we had to go see my grandparents and we had to drive by. Thomas's pig barn. And I was eating a chocolate ice cream cone as we drove by Thomas's pig barn. And I could smell pig shit. I don't know if you know this. When you smell pig shit, whatever you're eating tastes like pig shit smells. Same concept. Just, I got news for you. Stop holding that under your nose. Take a bite of that fucking brownie. It's going to be great. So, brown eyes. We had, we had a guy. We had a guy named Shotwell in my uh, in my C school barracks, in Great Lakes, and uh, we all we called him the Brown Eyed Bandit because he was famous. This is before I knew what a goatsy was, but basically that's what he was doing. He would come running in. He would, what happened? I who did somebody? What the fuck? Did I do to piss you off? Who? Who is mad at who? What's going on? What happened? I don't see anything. At any rate, shot well. You didn't do anything. I yeah. You didn't do anything to piss us off. You didn't piss me off. Did I stop? I don't see anything that you wrote. Oh, I swear to God, you were going to fucking regret. I don't know what's going on. I think Bubbles, okay, Bubbles may have Tourette's. Just say. Um, I think he was playing. Anyway, Shotwell, what he would do is, if you left your, if you left your room unlocked, he would run in as many, like he would leave the showers, which were down at the very far end, at the far end of the hallway. And he would leave the showers and he would open, he would try to open as many room and as many doors as he could. And if your door was open, he'd stand in the doorway and he'd lift his towel up and he'd spread his cheeks and he'd go to you and he goes, the brown eyed bandit. And he would, he would do that down the entire hallway. And it was fucking hilarious. You and Polly Walnuts. Who's Polly Walnuts? I don't think it was a threat. I don't have tarots. I didn't say ferrets. I said Trey, you misspelled ferrets. Damn it. No, I said shot well. I, I didn't say that. I said you reminded me of him. I'm a... I'm three into a six-pack. 
There are some nuts we get down here that are exactly... What is that? I don't know what we're talking about. I'm trying not to. Don't take anything bubbles. I'm not going to put that comment up. Matter of fact, we're going to do this. Sorry to do this. It's the only way I can do it. Uh, Zoro, it's nothing personal. Um... Don't take anything Bubbles says seriously. Period. Like, at all. He's like, don't you goddamn say I got Tourette's? Because I don't know what the fuck that is. That sounds like an insult to me. It's exactly what it is. It's not that he's upset that I said he has Tourette's. It's that he's upset I said he has Tourette's and he has no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. That's what's upsetting him. <laughs> Simon now. Simon! <laughs> Have you guys seen Chris Tucker talking about going to the movies with Michael Jackson on uh, on Jimmy Fallon? Like, I, I fucking hate Jimmy Fallon. Hey, do you guys remember that time that Jimmy Fallon helped fucking Horatio Sands be a pedophile? Yeah, Pepperidge Farms remembers. In case, you, uh, in case you haven't heard about that, go look it up. Horatio Sands is a petter ass. Uh, don't listen to Bubbles, especially he says... And, and, Hor and Horatio Stans was assisted by Jimmy Fallon. Just going to tell you. Petter ass. That's all I got to say. Um, we got a serial toucher down here last year. It was running around Duval Street and reaching under girls' skirts and running off. Lasted about a week of looking for him before they got him. Uh, dog, damn it. God don't need a damn. He can walk on water. Um. I just don't give some of your humor bubbles. Maybe I'm slow or something. I'll tell you what it is. Like, I have learned, because I have done so many live feeds, I have learned to pick comedy and sarcasm out in text. But if you don't do it all the time, it's very difficult. It's very, very difficult. Like, I've, I've figured out, I figured it out. But if you're not used to it, it can be confusing. I was standing next to the person who got bit by a shark in Florida. Uh, by a shark in Florida, same trip. EDC at least watched him or her get loaded in the ambulance. Oh, holy crap. What a coinky dink. You fellers are killing me. <laughs> You're killing me. You're killing me. What movie is that? What movie is that? Who can tell me? You're killing me. You're killing me. It's the only hint I'm going to give you guys. Whoever does it gets free bell. Whoever can come up with that. It's one of my favorite. It's one of my favorite scenes. Damn, you never seen any with shark bit. Just a misunderstanding, no big deal. Yeah, yes, I know. I thought I thought we put that shit to bed like five minutes ago. Holy crap! Two hours and twenty six minutes. So it is New Year's Eve Eve, and so before I go any further, and it's getting goofy, and I get better into, further into the giggle grass, and, and like I'll stick around for another few minutes. I just want to tell everybody thanks for hanging out with me. Um, it, it is. All joking aside, as much as I like to try and be humorous, keep this fun. It's a rough time of year. Um, it always has been. Uh, I've been away from I've been away from my like my family, you know, not just my wife and kid, like my mom and my sister and all my cousins and everything. I've been away for so long, and so I, I want to go back, but just the fact is, financially, I can't afford to. I would love to move back. I can't afford to do that for the kid. There are so many chances and advantages she has being out here that I just, uh, I just can't, I can't give up on that. Now, once she starts college, that might be a different story. The wife and I might relocate somewhere where I'm going to be happier, somewhere closer to the country. We'll pick an area where there's still a, a large Japanese community that my, 
my wife can can transit to. But I would I would love to move like somewhere around Florida or Texas or something like that just to be out of California. I, I, I hate it here. I really do hate it here. When is it, Jesus? Bubbles, you didn't write anything. I don't have anything to read. I'm trying to I'm trying to set it up here. <sighs> there we go. So, yeah. It, it it's just it's cool that you guys are hanging out with me even though I know it's holidays. And I know the reason you guys are probably watching is there's a bunch of you guys that are at your in-laws house. And you're on the couch, you got your headphones on, and everybody else is talking. You're like, Jesus, what? I can't stand these people. Why the fuck do we come to her parents' house? Why aren't we at my parents' house? Why do we always got to go to her parents' house? How can we ever go to my parents' house? Some bullshit right here. Unless you have in-laws like me, and I'm like, fuck, I wish I was at my in-laws' house right now. So, um, yeah, I, I just didn't want that. That whole thing, like, regardless of how funny it might be, the guy reading it could construe that absolutely as as something in the racist uh, realm, even though I know it wasn't. As I, I fuck, I hate I hate having to do that. Boobles, boobles, thank you very much for the ten bones. I know you already got your bell, so um, I had a giggle gummy. So I'm running a bit slow. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, Jesus. I had a heartburn. I had a can of, I had a can of Vienna sausages. I'm just kidding. I did not eat a can of Vienna sausages. I ate two. <laughs> Zorro, Zorro and Bubbles could say that's, that's a, that's a running gag. I, I, I did not have any Vienna sausages. I actually made, uh, I made pork fried rice. Uh, I had some uh, leftover uh, pork chop. I cut it up and I, I made uh, pork fried rice and I had horrible heartburn from it. What's this? You smell like soy sauce bubbles. I'm going to dip you a long time, a little dumpling. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. How much more overtly homosexual can your comments be? <laughs> I don't know why that struck me as so funny. <laughs> Vianna sausages. Did you guys see? Not everybody's seen it. I guarantee not everybody's seen it. I have something to show you guys. I do have something to show you guys. Now, it's going to be in a video, but I forgot that I put it up here. Guys, I made this. You ready? Hey, y'all. Anybody got any quarters? Check it out. I can't make the horse work. I got the chain. I give up. I did it for you. Now, I wanted to do that because I have to say thank you to 2A Dave. Because 2A Dave came with me and, well, he took the picture that was at the very end of it. My buddy Tino was with us. And we all got into the giggle grass. We drove up the little to the little market up the hill uh, and uh, and we uh, we filmed that. Paul Mills, new member. Holy crap. Hang on a second. I didn't think everybody had seen it yet. That's best, best, best. You guys hear me in the back? We all set up? OK. All right. All right. No, no, I'm not going to fart in the mic this time, I promise. No, I'm not going to drink that much. Paul Mills, new paying member. I have the B-roll as well. Uh, I have the B-roll as well. Dave sent me all of it. I'm going to put all that together. Uh, I'm going to put the B-roll together uh, and put it up on, uh, put it up on the, the uh, as a, as a members only video. I just have to clip it all together. It'll be quick. We definitely did. That was one of those days where I was like, good God. Like it, it looked like a 
Cheech and Chong movie in this garage. Uh, so uh, I I don't know what we're gonna do. Like if the paying members, I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit you guys up on the Gilded server. I'm gonna send you all guys home because y'all need to spend time with your families. It's the holidays. It's Christmas Eve Eve. Um, so I'm gonna send you all out. I don't want you guys like hanging out. What I might do is set up a movie stream. Uh, but I don't know how well I'm going to be able to support having everybody chat. So what I'm saying, what I'm thinking we might do is just do the private chat on the side, uh, and then watch the movie because my internet is all fucked up. Uh, I'm surprised we were able to do this. Uh, we'll see. I'll try, but if it looks like it's going to be laggy. I want you should you want the okay we can do that I mean we'll put it up we'll watch something uh but uh it's Christmas Eve for a lot here it is and that's what I'm saying like and I know there's a lot of people that like I know you're watching and it's just because you don't want to have to engage with your in-laws I get it I have a brother-in-law that I don't like actually I don't I don't dislike him we just we agree to like not be the best friends then I have a brother-in-law that I would fucking take a bullet for. I <laughs> fucking Koji, my brother-in-law Koji. I I would I would step in front of a fucking moving car to save him. I love that dude. He is like he is one of the greatest dudes ever. He's a fucking really really skinny dude. He looks like a broom from the side, and he will drink all night and with you. Like you're trying you're drinking with him, and you wake up the next day, you feel like shit, like you got a hangover, and you come downstairs. And he's in he's in the living room in his tracksuit with his big gold. He makes a lot of money with his big gold pendant and shit with the his pe, his gold necklace with the pendant with like the fucking like the like the two ounce gold fucking coin and shit in it with the big gold chain. And he like he fucking he'll be sitting there at the kitchen table with a beer. He's like, "Oh, Michael, Ohio, be dude." And you're like, uh, uh, uh. "No, I don't want it." He wakes up and drinks beer. Like, like he never stops drinking. Like, when he's off work, I like, no joke, he never stops drinking. <laughs> so I was like, that's how you avoid a hangover. You just never quit drinking. That's That's got to be it. So, all right, guys. I'm going to hit the Gilded server up. I'll let everybody know what the plan is. Uh, who cares where Zoro is? To tell you the truth. Like, really? Is this Zoro's fucking channel? Is this Zoro's fucking channel? No. Who gives a shit where Zoro's at? I'm just kidding. It's, it's always something. You got Crackhead John, fucking One Net Walter, fucking Russian Steve. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. I'll see you guys. I'll talk to you guys in the Gilded server. I'll see what's going on. You guys have a Merry Christmas. Like I said, I am going, I don't know what time I'm going to do it. Probably in the morning. Whatever, it's not going to be just, it's just going to be an unannounced, like, hey, all of a sudden, hey, there's a fucking live feed. So I uh, I definitely do that because the thing is, I think my buddy Tino's coming over and I still have editing to do. So guys, take it easy. Merry Christmas. Love your family. Hugs and kisses to them. If you're here, thanks for still hanging out. I'll talk to you guys later. I got to end this, but I will send you out with one final thing. Uh. One final thing that we haven't done tonight, and that's, well, that's. They call me Cuba Peace. I'm the king of a rumba beat. When I play the maracas, I go chick chicky mo chick chicky mo yeah. There you go. So that's the last thing you get. Guys, I love you all. I'll talk to you later. And uh, enjoy your holidays. You should probably go and uh, stick a popsicle in your mother-in-law's ass. I don't think you should do that. But just in case you do, I'm going to tell you it's probably a bad idea. Guys, I love you all. I'll talk to you later. Take it easy. <laughs>